hey 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 today is going to be sort of a come with me video i'm going to bring you footage uh, but most importantly i'm going to be giving you tips for working with relocation clients when buyers are coming into town my tips my suggestion on having a successful touring schedule meeting all of that good stuff so stay tuned Today is actually a Saturday. I work weekends by appointment and some holidays by appointment. It's actually Labor Day weekend. Uh, so yeah, these clients that I have been working with came in town Wednesday evening and we went out Wednesday evening, Thursday we went out, Friday we went out, today's Saturday. I recommend when clients are coming to town, they're in town from like one to three days. So initially they scheduled to come in Wednesday afternoon and where they were gonna leave Sunday. They went ahead and extended it because they wanted to make sure they had enough time. I don't really think they needed to extend um, because it's Saturday and they've narrowed down um, already what they wanted to see, but they're also visiting with family. So that gives them time for that as well. And the overall format for their trip here, now I kind of have it in mind is they're gonna be out seeing, getting an idea of the places that are on the tour, if it's resale, you know, the different houses. Um, so you may that do that for a day, a couple days. I had somebody come in town for one day and we saw 11 properties. They made a decision, closed on their house and they're still in that house years later and still love it, right? So we wanna see properties. You may do a day or two or three of seeing properties. Uh, then you wanna narrow it down. So just depending on how long they're there, the next phase is like them narrowing it down, taking stuff off the list. And then the last phase is, all right, let's, get to the contract now that you decided on where you want to be let's get this contract going uh these clients just throwing this out there they are selling a home in another state and they want to be here by a certain time frame so some of the builders that they like there they can't write a contract right now but they at least but we but we have at least identified where they want to be and what lots they be interested in. So we have that, so once those lots are released, then I know, all right, let them know, do videos for them of lots. We already know the floor plans that they like, so we can get the ball rolling that way. So this appointment is still important. So I will tell you, as your clients are seeing these different homes, it's not rare for them to like homes in every community because this is what this is what we're here for. They are here to see. Now, if they're knocking stuff off the list and it's narrowed down to one, perfect. But like these clients, every community that we have gone to, they have liked something, right? And it wasn't until, and it wasn't until that, you know, they're like, we slept on it or they talk with their kids. They really sat on it. Then they can make, you know, then they can start knocking stuff off. So we actually had, two appointments today we had the one to go check out and then we were going back to one that we saw yesterday they even put down a thousand dollars refundable um hold on a lot and we were going to go back and do like the contract writing and see where the numbers came out but the appointment that we had this morning they're like yeah we can cancel that we don't need to go back so that's what you want to see towards the middle or end of your whole tour schedule that they are narrowing things down and have made a decision so you can get under contract so number one out. Set expectations. You want to set expectations, give them idea. No, I'm going to backtrack. Number one is ask, you know, your clients to give you a heads up of when they're coming in town so that you can plan um, in your schedule. You can also be doing research and gathering information and all of that good stuff. So they gave me over a month's notice of, of heads up. So that's going to be my number one ask them to give you notice. Have I had it happen to where somebody was like, I'm coming in town this weekend? Mm, no, not really. I have had somebody looking at homes and they were like, well, we could be there this weekend. So I have had that, but I've never had anybody pop up and say, okay, well, can you show me houses this weekend? That's not gonna work, all right? Cause you, yeah, you need to plan into your schedule and you need to, you know, do your recon. All right, number two set the expectations of what they can expect overall that's my number two don't you have it in mind of how you want to run it don't let them 
run it or not be wondering like what are we doing kind of thing along the lines with setting expectations um also kind of let them know like okay each day we're going to be going out from this time to this time uh, the times can be different depending on your schedule depending on when the appointments are depending on the new construction on-site agents open up uh, so just give them idea of what the tentative schedule is going to be or check with them and see what they already have scheduled and when they would like to go out with you uh, but just so that they know it's not all day every day from like nine to four that we're out looking at properties you may decide okay on this day we're going to these communities or this day we're going to this these cities or city and then we'll do another city another day so however you want to do it so that goes along with set expectations let's talk about driving so who's who's driving are you driving and you chauffeuring them around or are they meeting up with you some brokers have a policy that you do not drive clients in your car for liability reasons uh, so you know check into that with your brokerage I prefer people to meet me have their own um, transportation uh, so it's just that is my preference all right um, if you want to do it one day or so where you're picking them up but I don't like for people to rely on me as their transportation for several reasons yeah we could say liability um, just the convenience of it all you know it can be it's very time consuming and taxing you know already the touring process so now to add pick up and drop off and then how far are they staying from you so you know there's a lot of logistics in that it just works better when they have their own transportation and then also they can get out and explore on their own they can get out and see different areas neighborhoods communities and all of that and another thing to keep in mind when it comes to driving and who's driving are we going together or are you driving separately most people when they come in well if they are staying with family or friends most of the time the family and friends want to come too so keep that in mind as well when you're deciding how you're going to do uh you know the driving component of it now if they're coming in town by themselves it's just them and that's one thing and also find out are they bringing their children because now you need to add in more time for the showing tours which leads me to the next one and i don't even know what number i'm at at this point so i'm just gonna put it here on the screen but the next one is do are you touring with them or are they going on their own so you you know, use, use your judgment. You know the people that you're working with. Uh, so kind of try to gauge, gauge it. So you really aren't needed to tour properties. Well, new construction, let me say that, new construction. You really aren't needed. Resale is a different ball game now. You have to set appointments, get them in houses and all of that stuff. But new construction, most new construction as long as you register them or advise them that they're coming you'll be good you don't have to be there so with these clients i have been with them for the most part but have i really been needed not really uh, have they appreciated that i'm there have they wanted my presence yes so just kind of gauge it uh like this morning they wanted to get out there earlier and i was like well i'll be there around 12 and I, I really i knew i really wasn't needed but i did want to come you know and pretty much get get updated so it all worked out so just decide how you're going to do things I, I have had clients that were set to come in town when i was going to be out of town and everything worked well because I had already done all the research. Um, it's all my research, contacting communities, getting all the information. I let the agents know when they were coming out, set appointments, all of that, and they were good. They came in town, they did exploring, they realized where they thought they wanted to live, they didn't want to live, they realized they need to increase their price point. They did all of that with the information that I provided them and with getting out on their own. I did not have to physically be there. So that's why I say, you know, just kind of gauge it and set those expectations um, with your client. And I wanna say last but not least, whether they are riding with you or they have their own transportation, I do recommend bringing snacks especially if they have kids um it, if it's hot have some water you might have some juice boxes just have a little cooler in your car that's just a nice added touch 
for them. Uh, thankfully, you've been going to new construction and they've been having like some chips and water and stuff in there. But I did think about that because, you know, we've, we've been out and just been a little famished. Uh, so, you know, that's something to consider. One day they did treat me to lunch. We went to Chipotle. That was cool. So you just gotta factor those um, things in. That's it. I uh, hope you got some good tips from that. Please share things that work for you. I'd love to hear it. Drop comments down below so it can help other agents. I hope you found value here. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Share it with another agent. If you have not joined our Facebook group, please go ahead and join Better Connected in Real Estate. And also, don't forget about the podcast. If you can't make a video, listen to the podcast. And please go ahead and give me a rating on the podcast. Let me know what other videos you want to see, what would be helpful, what questions you have. You can also drop that in the Facebook group as well. But I want to thank you. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day.